In this video, I'm going to show you how to find free and paid vector files and graphics that you can use on your t-shirt designs. Hi, I'm Curtis Blackmore. I'm the founder of Merch Titans, and today I'm going to quickly go over the free tool that I use to search for images from multiple sources at the same time. Let's get started. Okay, so this is part three of four different videos of a mini series I'm doing that teaches you how to find a t-shirt idea that has a great chance of selling before you ever put any time into creating it. And then the second part of this series will teach you how to check the trademark status to make sure that the phrase or idea you came up with is okay to use. And then part three is how to find vector files and graphics that you can use on your t-shirt design. And that's where we're at now. So if you haven't watched part one, I recommend you go back and start there and work yourself through this mini series. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so I'm over on MerchTitans.com. Uh, up here in the tools menu, you'll see that we have an image research option. That is the tool I use to conduct all my image research. So if I'm looking for an image or a vector file to place on a t-shirt of mine, uh, this is where I go because it pulls from multiple different sources and brings them all to one spot. So it's super convenient and it saves you time. Now, with that being said, let me just show you how this works. So the idea we had in part one was I'd rather be fishing. So I wanna complement that t-shirt idea and find a possible fish that may go well with my design. So I'll start with fishing. I'll do a search and we'll see what you have. All right, and just like that we have a lot of designs that are pulled over, a lot of graphics that are pulled over right here. Um, as you can see on these ones that do not have the free icon in the upper right corner, these ones cost money to commercially use. So if you have money, you can find really high quality designs that you can go purchase to use commercially on your Merch by Amazon t-shirts or print on demand t-shirts. Now the free ones are technically okay to use commercially on your t-shirts, but you always wanna dig in a bit further and be extra cautious about this because they are, a lot of them are coming from Pixabay. So just make sure they're okay to use before you actually put them up. Now let's see if there are any graphics here that stand out that are the free ones that we can put on our t-shirt. So I'd rather be fishing. I'm looking for just a simple fish. Um, I'm not seeing anything necessarily that looks too good yet. A lot of those I could use, but I'm going to go ahead and type in trout, get a little bit more specific, and see what comes up. And right out the gate, I like this design. That fits the idea we came up with pretty well. So let me look a little bit more. And yeah, I think I'll go with that one. So for the sake of this video, I'll keep this simple. What you do is when you come up with a, a t-shirt or a graphic you like, uh, you can click on it. Uh, this one looks like it's coming from Pixabay. So over here, you can see that it's free for commercial use, no attribution required. But Pixabay allows people to upload images, even if they're not their own, and it will always, almost always say free for commercial use. A lot of the time, they'll be on top of things and remove stuff like Nike logos and stuff like that that obviously is not okay to use. So I always like to look a little deeper. If you're using Chrome, uh, one thing I do do is uh, go to search Google for images, right click on an image, and then search Google for image to see what exists with this image, if there's anything similar. And then you could come here and you can see a lot of these different websites that are using this general image. A lot of them are on Pinterest. I don't see anything like Shutterstock. It's a lot of clip art libraries. So I usually will do a very brief check and a lot of times I'll download an image and actually change it up a bit just so it's more unique, which is the ideal thing to do. But in this video, we're not gonna do that as that requires Photoshop or some other form of photo editing software. So for the sake of this video, we found an image we like. So the next step is to click the free download button. I always go with the top PNG size or vector graphic, but I'll go with PNG, click download. Um, it may require you to sign up for an account, which is free, and it shouldn't take you more than 10 to 30 seconds. So once you're signed up for an account, uh, you can log in. And I'll go ahead and do that. And once you're logged in, you can go back to these steps and click the largest PNG file, click download. And just like that, the file is downloading. So store that somewhere on your computer. 
because we'll come back to that in part four and actually add this graphic to our t-shirt design. So that should be it for this video. You should now know how to search for vector files and graphic files that you can use on your t-shirt designs. So with that being said, in part four, we'll take all of this information and we'll actually build the t-shirt that you can upload to Merch by Amazon or any other print-on-demand platform and start hopefully getting sales. So that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.